So this is what my window looks like before I have put the window privacy film on it. As you can see, very plain, very boring, and just not a lot of color or life to it. I just wanted to show you this film because when it's on the paper, it looks a bit dark. Um, at least I thought so. And so it looks like this. And when I first saw it, I thought, you know, that's too dark. And I didn't think that it would work for us. But when you peel off the paper, you can see that it's actually a lot more um, transparent than it looks on the paper. Um, I think it's just the right balance personally for me. It's lighter when you take it off the paper. It, you can tell it looks has more of a, a glass looking effect. And so I think it's great. It's got some color in it. So it gives your bathroom a little design and a little color, but it's also not super dark. You know, you have sort of an array of choices that they do. Um, this one says, dye lot number 11. The instructions come with this. So these are the products that are the only ones you really need to be able to put this on your window. Um, you're going to need a spray bottle. I have a bottle of Windex here, but you can also just use straight water. A measuring tape to be able to measure how big your window is and you will need this to be able to mark where you need to cut on here. And I also have a straight edge here so that you can make sure that it's straight. Um, and then a squeegee. Once you put this onto your window, you the instructions say that you have to squeegee it. And so you'll just have to squeegee it all the way so it's nice and smooth and straight and good scissors so that you can cut where you have measured. That's all you really need to be able to do this project. It's very, it's a very easy project that I think pretty much anybody could do. I just wanted to get a, give an example of the privacy effect that this has. Things we're not usually standing right up next to the window. It's a little bit further away. And so that is more of the effect that it's going to have. Now that I've cut the pieces to the correct size, I'm simply going to place it on the window. This is the bottom piece. Make sure that it lines up correctly with the window frame. You're going to want to make sure that you're pressing out any sort of bubbles beforehand and that will help with the squeegeeing. Now I'm going to take my squeegee, start at the top and simply go all the way to the bottom. time just to make sure that all the bubbles are out and any excess liquid has been pushed to the bottom. So it's a little hard to see from this angle but the sun is just going down right now. Um, it's about to set but this is the effect that it had. Um, and so again this is the savannah type. I really liked this because it has color but it's not too much floral. My husband isn't a super floral sort of guy. <laughs> he likes flowers, but not necessarily for his space. He's um, more of a rugged hunter, fisher type of guy. And so um, 
here is the bottom window and here is the top window. So as you can see, it still lets some light in, but we don't have to worry about um, other people being able to see in our bathroom, which is really nice. Another really nice thing about this is that it's so easy to take off. Um, you just have to, it's as simple as just starting at the corner and peeling it off. There's no sticky residue left or anything. It's just like a window clean. And so I just love this stuff.